Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel you find lots of cleaning motivation and lifestyle videos. So if any of that interests you, I would love it if you'd hit the red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Today's video I am just going to be bringing you along for a daily cleaning motivation and I'm just going to tackle the things that I need to get done today. I am going to be washing some fruits and vegetables and cleaning up my daughter's room, also showing you a before and after of a craft that I made. So that's what today's video is gonna be about, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys that a lot of you have been asking about Bible journaling videos coming back, and I think that I'm gonna be doing those on Sundays. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do every Sunday yet or every other Sunday. I'm looking at every other Sunday, and then of course just sharing verses throughout my videos here through the week. Um, but I'm excited for those, so be sure to tune in this Sunday because there's gonna be a Bible journaling video for all of you who have been missing them. I know a lot of you have been putting it in the comments and DMing me on Instagram. Um, wanting those back so I'm gonna bring those back for you and I'm very excited to share them with you and just get back in the routine of that myself um, but yeah I just wanted to pop in here real quick and say that this is also something I wanted to share with you guys so I am working on a craft and this is just a blank canvas and what I used was the antique wax from the Waverly chalk paint line um, and then I used the white Waverly chalk paint and I just get these from Walmart. Um, but I went ahead and painted it with the antique wax first, let it sit overnight, and then I just took a dry brush and dry brushed on the white paint to give it like a white distressed look. And I'm actually going to go ahead and make this like a spring sign and I'll show you a little bit later what I end up doing with it, like the finished product. But it's just so fun to make like a wood look, you know, weathered wood look with just a canvas if you just use the antique wax and this chalk paint. So that's why I just kind of wanted to come on here and share this. And I haven't shared crafts in a while, so I will show you what this looks like when it's done. But I'm really excited to get this finished and get it up on my Etsy shop. I had talked to you guys about my Etsy shop on Instagram and you guys um, saw a lot of the things I made over there in so many of you were like, you need to start an Etsy shop. So I started an Etsy shop. If you ever want to check it out, it will be linked below in my description box. But there's so many items on there and it's so fun as a stay-at-home mom to craft and make a little extra, you know, making crafts and whatnot. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what this looks like afterwards. So I said I was going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like once it's done. I just went ahead and did Hello Spring in a blue color with the red heart and then I did the red truck with some planters and some flowers in it and I think it turned out so cute. I am so in love with this. I'm so excited to get this up on my Etsy shop and just make more of them. It is so much fun doing this and it just brings me so much joy. And it'll be nice to have around the house for spring. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. I just wanted to show you guys because it is so cute. Now to the cleaning portion of today's video. I'm going to go ahead and get started getting a load of laundry started. These were the clothes out of my children's room. They had a full basket so I wanted to go ahead and get their clothes put to wash and get whatever is in the dryer put on my bed so I can get that folded. So I'm going to start out by getting some laundry done today. So this basket was everything I pulled out of the dryer plus some stuff that was already sitting in a basket so this is two loads of laundry I'm gonna put on my bed for now and I'm gonna currently work on my daughter's room so you can see it's a mess my children are two and one I have a two-year-old little girl and a one-year-old little boy and so 
you know, as a mom, when they're this young, they play with something for a minute and just kind of put it down. They don't understand the concept of putting it back or anything, but they do play with everything much better and longer when it is put away and everything is organized. So I like to come in their rooms every couple days and just tidy it up, get everything back to where it normally is. That way, when they come in here, they have a fresh space to clean it or to play in and just enjoy. And they seem to like it so much when I do this. So I'm going to take some time today, tidy up her room and get it nice and clean for them. But I want to pop in here and introduce myself for a moment. There are so many of you who are new. My name is Bethany. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two babies, two and under, a two-year-old little girl and a one-year-old little boy. I have been with my husband for six years and married for going on three. And we live in a mobile home and we are outgrowing it quickly, but we are happy and content here. We are currently house hunting, but you know the house hunting process can take months years you never know so whenever the right one pops up we will be moving eventually but for now we are happy and content in our mobile home and here on my channel you find lots of cleaning motivation lifestyle videos i also do bible journaling videos and i have some mobile home updates coming along as well and my goal for my channel is just to motivate other moms help you get started going for the day i know that there are so many days where i need the motivation too and i need the inspiration and so i just want to be able to provide that for you guys and also share the love of jesus and share some motherhood content along the way as well so hopefully you will stick around and join my youtube family if you are new here definitely let me know a little bit about you down in the comments i love to hear about you guys and get to know you i absolutely love reading your comments and responding especially when you guys put in suggestions and things like that. I think it is so fun to read them because sometimes there's just things that you don't think of that others do and it's just so appreciated. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you are new and of course if you're a returning friend. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys mean the world to me. Now that her room is all nice and clean and tidy and ready for them to play in here again, I'm going to go ahead and move on into the kitchen. I had a dishwasher full of dishes that I wanted to get taken care of and put some dishes in the dishwasher. And as you can see, I have my little helpers here. My daughter is two and she's really in the stage of wanting to help pull things out of the dishwasher and hand me things as I put them away. And I never make her do this, but because she enjoys it, I let her help me and it's going to be good for her to just learn those kinds of things and as you could see there was the wheels on the bus playing on the tv and she wanted to do the hand motions with me so we stopped for a minute and do the wheels on the bus motions i'm sure all of you moms can relate to that
matters. I've searched everywhere. Your goodness is greater. This world can't compare. Nothing else matters. I've searched everywhere. Your goodness is greater. This world can't compare. Oh, Jesus. Once I got all the dishes done, I'm going to go ahead and fill the sink and spray my fruit and veggie wash in here. I had some celery that I wanted to soak as well as some grapes, so I'm going to go ahead and get these soaking so that way they're clean and I can put them away. That way we have them fresh and ready to go. Last night's dinner spilt on the stove a little bit as you can see so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up but I hope that today's video is giving you some motivation and inspiration. I find myself watching YouTube videos whenever I'm feeling in a funk but I need to get up and get something done whether it's just get up and clean or just get moving for the day. I tend to find myself watching YouTube videos as well so I hope that you guys will find this motivating and inspiring. By the time I was done with the stove and in the kitchen, the laundry was ready to be moved around so I'm going to go ahead and get that moved around.
And now back to the fruits and veggies. I'm going to go ahead and take all the grapes off the vine and get those put in that little bin. And then I'm going to cut off the ends of my celery and get that chopped up so that way I can put that away as well. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys, um, whenever we have celery, I will go ahead and wash it and cut it up and then I just store it in like a Ziploc bag with a paper towel at the bottom and it actually stays really firm and nice this way and so um, that's what I do for that and then I do just have this container that I just wash and put all of our fruit in. It does have a paper towel at the bottom to collect like the moisture and stuff but these are all washed and just taken off the vine, easy to grab and go in the morning for the kids. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's just an easy way to have everything kind of prepped out and ready and literally having the celery in a bag like this has made it stay fresh for like two weeks. I haven't had to buy celery because I can just keep it in a bag like this and it stays nice and firm and doesn't mold or anything. And if the um, paper towel just gets too moist, then I'll just um, change it out for a new one. But yeah, it's a nice little hack for you. And now I finally get to make it back into my bedroom to get this load of laundry folded or loads of laundry folded. I'm really trying to keep up on it, otherwise it gets backed up on me. And we had a really busy weekend this weekend, so I really didn't do too many house chores. I just did the basic things that everybody does usually on a daily basis and really just didn't focus on anything else. So I'm going to go ahead, get this laundry tackled while my littles are sleeping and get it put away. Of course, I will have a little pile of their clothes that I can't put away because they are napping, but I'll go ahead and take care of that once they get up. Do we feel emptiness afterwards? Cause I want something deeper If I'm a find a keeper Not saying I'm some genius But I'm smart enough to know I'm worth fighting for Yeah, I want something deeper But I would love for you guys to leave down in the comments some video suggestions. If you want to see anything else on my channel, I would love to hear that. I do want to share some more day in the lives as far as what we do with the kids, show you guys some of the activities that I do with them during the day. I do try to keep my kids, you know, pretty private from my videos because I don't want my videos to revolve around them, but I do want to share some motherhood content and at least show you guys what we do with them as far as educational activities and things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of content, let me know or if there's anything else you want to see, I would love to hear that from you guys. Hearing your suggestions about anything really brings me joy and I just love to hear from you guys. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you would like to see.
so after putting the clothes away, these are left on the bed. My kids are napping right now, so I will have to put those to in their bedrooms after they wake up from a nap. But I have this pile of towels that go in the kitchen, so I go ahead and bring these into the kitchen. And I just want to come back on here and say thank you so much for all of you who tune into my videos and just join my videos. It means the world to me and I'm just so happy to have all of you here. So thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. Remember as always, if you need any prayer, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm just so happy to have you here. Let me know a little bit about you down in the comments. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.